first of all, we didn't make that money um, overnight. I built that money up. Um, and it's probably a bit of trading, some investing, and really a lot of it is compounding. So what happens is profits from one deal goes into another and so on and so on. Um, and a bit like Daryl, obviously, yeah, I look at charts, I look at trends, um, because, you know, at the end of the day, longer term, yeah, trends uh, happen. But I also make money out of out-of-favor stocks. Now, if you cast your mind back probably about 15 years ago, um, after the dot-com boom, I made a lot of money by investing in tobacco stocks, which at that time were totally out of favor. Nobody wanted to touch tobacco, uh, food stocks, nobody wanted to touch those. Um, and, you know, they have been... Um, one and, of and Vince, let me jump in here. Nobody wants to touch Valiant, but you do. Okay, right. So let, let me tell you a little bit about the Valiant story. If you'd called me this time last year, um, exactly this time last year, I would have been the other way around. I would have been short. So I'm happy to make money from things going down. Obviously, you know, Daryl will show you charts, um, and, you know, viewers can make money from things going short. There's things like CFDs. Um, in the U.K., they use spread bets and obviously options. So it's important to realize I actually make money from things going down. Around two weeks ago in London, I met Bill Ackman, who I've known for a little while, um, and I was starting to get to the view that when you're short a stock, you've got to remember, you know, there's only so much left on the bone of being short. And I covered the short, and as you correctly say, probably a little bit too soon, um, I'm now actually long of Valiant. Um, but just to make it clear, I don't think it's going to go anywhere near to where Bill Ackman got in, which is about 160 or some of the other people. But I think at this sort of $27, $28, $30 level, you've got a very, very good chance of a 50 to 60% um, up move. Uh, oh, and oh, Alex Vince, for, for those people who are not willing to go quite so far out of the market or quite so far against the market, I should say, uh, what else do you like out there right now? All right, well, I've given, I've got sort of four ideas. Um, you know, there's, there's an old saying, and I think it was Warren Buffett that said it, there's companies that have problems and there's companies that are going to have problems. So what I've done, I've given sort of three stocks which all, there's a problem at the moment, yeah? There's, there's a reason, there's some reason that or, um, you know, it's a little bit out of favor, but I still believe there's value and there's, you know, that it doesn't affect it. Now, I'll give you one stock. It was interesting. I heard you guys talking about cut the car and you were talking about Apple investing in China. Um, there's a stock you, you didn't mention and what people don't realize is Baidu. Um, you know, the search engine, um, BIDU is the ticker that I use in, in the U.S. I buy the ADRs. Now, they're working on driverless cars, but they don't seem to be getting much uh, credit for it. Yeah. Uh, now, I've owned this stock since 2009. Yeah. I'm up about 600% so on it. Um, and as you probably know, it's been in the news for the wrong reasons lately. Yeah, talk about in the news. We've been talking about Apple investing a billion dollars in uh, DD Quiety, this ride-hailing app. Uh, I'm wondering what you make of that and whether that is adding to your view or, or changing your view on, on, on Apple, on AAPL, below 90. Um, I think Apple's still got some problems with the fact that they're looking now to invest. Because if you remember until recently, Apple wasn't really investing in anything else. You know, they had all this cash mounting. They're going to give the cash back. Um, but it's interesting now that strategies changed a little bit, that they're willing to put money into other ventures. Um, because going back to my stock that I like, uh, which is Baidu, you know, I don't know if you realize Baidu owns share, um, stakes in C-Trip, the travel company, owns a stake in Uber. Uh, and a variety of other companies. So Baidu's been happy to, you know, buy stakes in other companies, uh, whereas Apple so far has been very much, you know, we develop the technology and, um, you know, we don't really invest in other companies.